Oh man, the screen went black there. I wasn't expecting that. I put in the transition for the cool oh, leaves. Me. But it went black. Because I think I ran it out right to the, to the very Ooh, edge. Oh, gotcha. Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And I didn't put explosions in there. I, I have a button for explosions on a different live stream. Mm -hmm. There's no explosions. Yeah. The explosion will have to be a, an explosion of flavor today. <laughs> a flavor explosion for like a party in your mouth. <laughs> You're making ketogenic, okay. gluten-free pizza today. Yes. Yes. And that means that there is no wheat in any of this that we're making. There's no wheat, which is a complete... Um, not us. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we eat bread, we eat regular pizza, but we have friends that don't. And so when they come over, we want to be able to provide for them um, a, a keto gluten-free meal. And they actually turned us on to this recipe, and I, okay, here's the truth. Here's the truth, people. I turned my nose up before I even tried it. I was like Sam, and I did not want to try green eggs no and way. ham. No green eggs I and did ham, not no. want to try them in a bush, not on a tush, not in a yak, not with a, with a, I didn't want to do it here or there. Not anywhere. Not anywhere. No. But then when they made me try it. It was actually pretty good. And and we ate it cold too. Yeah. So I can't wait to try it when it's warm. <laughs> so it was it was surprisingly tasty. Mm -hmm. yep. And um I was prepared not to like it. I I kind of was uh, but okay, think about the ingredients. There is just a few ingredients. I we like mozzarella cheese. We like almonds. We like I have a I have a bag of raw almonds sitting up at my desk. And I'll grab a few every once in a while. I love almonds. Love almonds. Cream cheese, awesome on bagels. Eggs, yes. Baking powder, nobody eats just baking powder. And then salt. That's it. So there's only one ingredient here that you normally wouldn't have in your kitchen uh, unless you eat keto. So. Yeah, the almond flour. And it's not cheap, people. No, it's pretty pricey. Um, so let me just tell you what the almond meal is. It's blanched almond meal. So you take raw almonds and you blanch them in hot boiling water, okay? And that then gets the skins to come off of Easy. the almond yeah. easily. Easily. You dry the almonds and then you grind them into a flour. If you had easy access to almonds, you could make ground almond meal easy. Pretty easy. At, at your, yeah. Yeah. But that's all it is. Um, it's super, super easy. I mean, I think it's easy to make because I've ground up almonds before. But, um, so, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where you're going totally with that. Totally lost. Shoo, gone. I will say that this pizza sauce, she's going to make it from scratch. Yeah. It's ridiculously good. Right. And if you don't want to write it down from, because we're getting ready to put it up on the screen here. But if you don't want to write it down, you can always grab a copy of the uh, old cookbook. Yep. In the cookbook. Yep, it is in the cookbook. It is in the uh, Homestead Treasures. Um, so I'm going to start with the sauce because um, I, I know we have made the sauce on a live stream before, but trust me. It's so it's, good. It's ridiculously good. And I don't know how it came about, but I just threw a bunch of stuff in and it was delicious. So, Do you want to say hi to everybody first, Mom? I personally, yes. You do? <laughs> You, yes. you do or do not. Um, I will say hi to everybody, yes. It's, there's not a lot of people on the screen, <laughs> okay. so well, type, type, type. Brian was first, so hi, Brian. Wanda, Mary, uh, BM Dwell, Kathy, The La La Farm, Thrifty VG, Swagger, I'm not going to say all of it, but hi, Swagger, <laughs> go eat. Uh, Mike DeFazio, sorry, dude, I don't Mike. sing. Um, <laughs> Kathy, Danny, The La La Farm, Swagger, Rose, Hedgehogs, Homestead, Kathia. Kathia, maybe? Kathia, the, Mike, from France. and Caitlin. So. so, okay. Well, then yep. let's get to the old, uh, the recipe here, yep. and then um, that way people can see right. exactly what's going on. So you're going to start with the sauce. Start with the sauce, and again, super, super easy. Um, you should have all of these things in your in your pantry. If you do not have, oh, I, there is one missing. 
What's missing, baby? I'm missing the chef's choice. There it is. Holy mackerel. Um, so we She's use, choiceless. I love these seasonings from Thrive Life. Um, the Italian, if you don't have these and don't want to purchase these, just any Italian seasoning. You know, and honestly, you can put in whatever seasoning in you want. Um, these are ones I found that I really like. Well, and the family likes. We like it. So we're going to start with just two cans. Uh, they're 15 at 14 and a half ounce cans of plain diced tomatoes. No added seasonings. You could get the Italian seasoning and then, you know, like they have ones that have basil and oregano Bump already in them. And then Kick you it don't up have however you to. Like. Um, right. So one was a large cut and one was petite dice, but that was just whatever Caleb had brought upstairs. <laughs> So, and then in this recipe, there is no added sugar. Uh, whatever sugars are in there are straight from the tomatoes, but that's, there's nothing else added. Um, some glugs of um, grapeseed oil. If you prefer olive oil, that's great too. It says technically two tablespoons. I just, I would like to point that out on there. Two tablespoons. That, oh, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Let's not get out of hand here. <laughs> what was all that about? Did you see the I act of defiance? I, I don't think I added two tablespoons, <laughs> so I had to add some more. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Would you please open that? Yes, ma'am. It's sticky and my hands don't work right anymore. Yeah. So we've got garlic, and how much garlic do we put in, hon? Because it says right here one tablespoon. That looks like a pretty good tablespoon right there. That's definitely. I me. like garlic. So it's so more like he. four tablespoons. Right. If you want it this way. Right. Yeah. And we're gonna put in what a teaspoon of salt. It says here uh, teaspoon one teaspoon of salt. Of salt. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it says. Yep. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. I have a salad blend, and the the salad blend is parsley, garlic, onion, chive, and red onion. So white onion and red onion. I really like that blend. It's in. It's so good too. It is really really yummy. And and I don't put it on salad. I put it in everything. Really good probably, on a salad, though. Yeah. It's really good on salad. And then this is the Italian, and then the Chef's Choice. The Chef's Choice has red and green bell peppers and just some really good little stuff. Little of this, little, little of that. that. Yeah, exactly. Kids even like it on eggs. They'll put it on their oh, eggs. Oh, I love it on eggs. Makes it pop. Yeah. So, yeah. Somebody here, Brian, is saying, try to look up the recipe for portobello pizza snacks. Mushrooms. Oh, snap. That sounds delightful. Instead of the crust, yeah. you're using the mushroom, yeah. I'll bet. That sounds really that great. That sounds really good. Okay. Let's see. That's it. That's all that's going in there. And now I have an immersion blender. If you don't have one of these, you can use a regular pitcher blender. Um, I like this just because it's easy to clean and I can... There's less to wash. Yeah. And I'm going to blend this up. Just to a fine consistency. You know, I don't want, I don't like big chunks of tomato on my pizza. So, um, there, that's it. That's it. You're that's done. It. I would like to make a note here, though, Mother. Yes, dear. Oh, FedEx is coming. Yep. That's that's a good thing. I've been waiting on something to get delivered this for a while, not, and I spotted him. This is not flying him. down the road. But that has nothing to do with the point I wanted to make. I, I just got distracted. It's, you know, like, squirrel. Hey, look, squirrel. Um, yeah. This is good right now. Yes. However, if you have the patience, wait till tomorrow, because it is far better. It is far better. Tomato, right. Tomorrow. Stick it in the fridge. It's way better. And what we'll do with um, Sorry. the... Uh, the excess is we will uh, use it for dipping like regular breadsticks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my gracious! Yeah, the kids will make um, they will make uh, like bread uh, uh, bread pizzas. Yep. So they'll just take a slice of bread, whatever bread we have left over from dinner the night before, whatever. Um, they'll just slather some of that on there, some cheese, and they'll stick it in the air fryer. Yep. Yep. So, okay, let's see. Um, 
You're on your market set go. You're yeah. making the dough now. It's yeah. This is this. It's not really. Is it? A, is, I guess it is a dough technically. It is a dough because um, there is a flour in it. Technically a flour, but it's a nut flour, um, and it's super simple. I mean, it takes just a few minutes to put this together, um, and you could make it in ahead of time. I wouldn't recommend doing that just because there's baking powder in it. Yeah. And tell them the trick if they have out of date baking powder because most people do and don't mm -hmm. even realize it. Right. Because it does not, I mean, it's not going to go bad, bad, like it's not going to make you sick or something. But uh, it's that if you have out of date baking powder, it just takes the fluff and the life out mm -hmm. of your baking powder. Right. But there's a way that you can make your own very, very easily. You can make your own very easily. I don't recommend making a lot and storing it. You can store the separate ingredients and they'll last forever. Uh, cream of tartar and baking soda. It's two parts cream of tartar, one part baking soda, and that makes baking powder. When you put them together, they don't last very long. Yeah. So I would keep the ingredients separate and make small amounts like so. That way you have fresh baking powder all the time. Yep. So now for this, um, this part, okay, here's, here's the warning. What's the warning? You got to use a microwave. I know. I hate using a microwave. Honestly, I use the microwave pretty much to soften butter. That's about it. That's about it. He, we heat up your coffee, but. That's about it. That's it. It's, um, we don't like the, what it does to the, the health side of things. Right, um, right. And I know that, of course, the microwave lobbyists out there are going to say, there's nothing wrong with that, whatever, okay. Right, right. We're not fighting with you. Don't fight with us. No, no. So I'm going to start with the um, almond flour, and it only takes a half a cup of almond flour. That was about a half a cup. About a half a cup. Mm -hmm. gonna... That seems okay. Here, I'll take that for you, babe. Here, if you want to put the yep, twist tie back on there. Yeah, at... Um, Nine dollars a pound. You're gonna to want to keep this <laughs> yeah. in good shape. Um, I'm actually going to put that in the freezer um, because nuts can go rancid, and so I would like to keep that in the freezer. And it'll that still way. go rancid, but it'll last a lot longer. Yeah, it'll last a lot longer. And then we need a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. So honestly, I'm not gonna really measure this too much. That looks like about a half a cup because using measuring cheese. Um, How do is, you 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 don't mash it in there? No, it's, you just put it in there loosely, but it's hard to do that and get an accurate measure. Hey, Michigan this. Daffodils here. Hello. She actually sent me a good news story. Oh, very cool. Yeah, on Sundays, on Sunday evenings, we do a live stream, and we've been making a big section of it, or we're starting to anyway, of good news stories. I'm tired of all the bad news, so we're starting to you know, mm -hmm. share some of the good news stories. Yep. So if you have a good news story, send it to us. Don't just send me like, a, hey, watch this video. I don't have time for that. No, send, um, an, send a news article. Yeah. Just a link to a news article, not the whole website. Um, and he'll, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and, and send it to info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. So yep. info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. Okay, next I've got the cheese and the almond flour in here. I'm going to add um, two ounces of um, cream cheese. Now, of course, you you know you can get them in the eight ounce blocks. Just cut two inches off of the, or two inches, two, two ounces foot. off two of that. Two feet of it. A quarter of it. Yeah, a quarter of a foot or, right. or three, three tenths of a pound. Right. Now I'm going to throw <laughs> this in the microwave for a minute. One minute. One minute. Hey, Delaney B's here, Laura H. There's Alicia. Let's see, Cheryl and Jules. A lot of people showing up. Oh, for the egg. There we go. And um, all right, question. How many of you guys have tried and or like ketogenic keto recipes? Because I'm just curious if, because I know it's it's definitely a, a trend. It seems to me like I, if, if I remember correctly, when we were younger, they did that, what was it called? The South, South Beach. Beach Diet? It's kind of mm -hmm. like a modified South Beach, right? Yeah, it's similar to that, um, where it's the very, very low carb or no carb. Um, 
I, I can't eat that way. I, I go carbs. crazy for bread at day three. Yeah. Like yeah. fighting, spitting mad. I want bread and I want it now. <laughs> and I'm sure that's probably my body reacting. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine. And so far, nobody has chimed in as to whether they like and or use ketogenic food. Barbara is from rainy Michigan. Let's oh, see, knowledge power. Hello. Jesus says, Lord, hello, hello. Must All be right. raining. So I'm just going to mix this up. It's very cheesy because, I mean, there's a cup and a half of mozzarella, two ounces of cream cheese, but you got to mix it up really well so that that almond flour gets in there. Mike DeFazio says, I did find a place that makes a cauliflower pizza that is good. I was surprised. You know what? Uh, I, you know, I I've, don't know. Maybe. I love cauliflower, but I think that would be too much cauliflower for me. I yeah. had, um, we had gotten some cauliflower crackers from Aldi, and they were really good. But, but after the, eating. There's also four crackers in the bag no, for $3. After eating some of it, I all I did was burp cauliflower for the rest of the day. I like cauliflower. Yeah. Hey, Danny, hang in there because. We happened to find a little surprise. We, for, we, we forgot that we actually had some dough, like bread dough made. Mm -hmm. So we may we may just add a regular bread pizza when we're done with this. Well, I, no, I don't know if I can. Okay, so now I'm going to add an egg. Boer hasn't tried any keto. Hey, Judy G. Let's and see. the perfect. half teaspoon of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of salt. That's right. And you know, you know how, okay, here's another little secret. You know how to, to tell if this is Krista's recipe or not? She measured everything out. <laughs> I have not made this uh, for our family. Um, I watched uh, our friend make it. Yeah, she brought it over mm -hmm. so because they had health concerns for mm -hmm. their... Yeah. One of their kids. Yep. Let's yep. See. Our, her, their daughter has type one diabetes, and so she cannot. Um, this is. Oof. The egg is taking a long time to come <laughs> incorporate. Funny. Yeah, it I does. I remember she worked yeah. it pretty well there. Yeah. There you go. Just get in there. Get passionate with it. Yeah. Come on, squishy. Forget. Forget the. Uh, forget it. Spoon. It's taking too long. Now yeah. this is warm, obviously, but. Because I just took it out of the microwave. It's funny. Let's see. Laura says, I get very crabby without bread. Decided longer life wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys cracked me up. Let's see. Um, Danny Thrive, not so much. I like bread, too, says Kathia. Let's see. Hungry Howie's is the best deal. Oh, I remember <laughs> Hungry Howie's. You remember? We had it in, in Palmetto. They had one in, yeah. Yeah, down in Florida. Their pizza was really good. You know, for chain pizza, like chain store pizza, the one that we fell in love with that is actually not terrible was Blaze. Mm -hmm. They had it in Ohio, and they make it right then yep. in front of you from scratch. Yeah, it was Like so dough good. and everything. They and make you... it. It's like, think of it like Subway for pizza. Because they, they, you pick your basic thing, and then they just add or subtract, and they make it right then. It's wood-fired, and yeah. it's actually pretty good. All right. Now, this is pretty sticky. Oh, I know why she need. Okay, I remember now. She had oil for her hands. She did have very oily hands. She's taking off here. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Hungry Howies, huh? Barbara Winslow. <laughs> Let's see. Um, crabby without okay. bread. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil on my fingers. And this is just we're just spreading this out. Is it like a consistency? It looks like a like a cookie dough. Almost like a. Yeah, I guess you could say cookie dough. All right. Now I'm using um, a pizza, um, a pizza tray, 
and um, some parchment paper. You know, in terms of, I see you guys are chiming in on bread and not bread and the health side of things. We don't eat ketogenic. This was a request of yours. Yes. I do feel like we eat too many carbs. I'll say that. Uh, but I think to cut them completely out of your diet, being a non-doctor, I'm not a doctor at all, but I think it just doesn't make sense um, from a just a basic logic standpoint. Yeah, I, um, we we really value, believe that um, a balanced diet That's is the way to go. Um, yeah is is important. Having um, a moderation of things. If you have a nut allergy, what substitute could you use? Uh, rice flour, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You could do a rice flour. You could do cauliflower. Um, but do they make flour from cauliflower? If you use That's not the, a joke. If you use the Thrive Life cauliflower. And powder it. And powder it. Blend it up in. Yeah, you could. Um, you sure could. Yeah, blend it up in um, a blender, like a Vitamix yeah. blender. Because it's freeze-dried. Yeah, these are onions that... Are you putting onions on the pizza? Yeah, but not yet. I know, but I was just going to say. Yes. Can you hear that? They're actual onions. And let me... You can make your pizza crust out of onions. You could, actually. <laughs> Those are actual chopped up onions that are freeze-dried, and they're, they're hard. They're crunchy. They're not so hard that you can't... I mean, I, I can... No. I can... Look, I can... Powder them. I, yeah, I usually do. Um, if I run out of onion powder, I just grind those up and, and I've got onion powder. Yeah, it's 100% onion. It's mm -hmm. not It's not onion plus. Right. Onion, so. I think I got that thin enough. <clears throat> yeah, actually, that's a really good idea, Mom. You could make it's not very pizza crust circular, out of just but... about any doggone Thrive Life ingredients yes. at all. Yep. Huh. Yep. You could use oats because oats are... Um, uh, Oats are gluten-free. That would be disgusting, but you could. Well, no, no, no. If you grind it into a flour. Oats? Yes. Oh. <laughs> You've not tried it. Don't turn your nose up at it. I'm sure that, that donkeys and horses would love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just remember the way Claire used to... Um, experiment. Experiment with uh, an oat recipe, an oat pizza recipe. She used... Whole oats, not whole oats. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Old-fashioned oats, so it was very thick. And um, but I think if if she had um, if she had ground it into a flour, then it would be better. All right, that's done. That's the crust. This is the crust. I need to bake this for five minutes, and then we're gonna put the toppings on. You can't put it on right away. No, because well, you need to make check. a you go need to and... make a crust right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for five minutes. Or else it oh. just doesn't work. What? I have to cut the uh, cheese. No. <laughs> what are you gonna cut? The parchment paper. The parchment paper has a temperature um, regular restrictions. A rating. a rating. So you can only put it into 450 degree oven. I've got a 550 degree oven going right now. So I'm gonna cut this off because I don't want it to catch on fire. It still will. It still gets toasty, but not much. Since you're only putting it in for a short amount of time too, it yeah. might not be as bad. But if you cut it close to the uh, crust, it won't it won't catch on fire. Kathia, every time you show Thrive Life products, I think it's too bad that they're not sold in France. I am so sorry. Hang I wish. Tight though, because I, I think, I think that Europe is not too far away in terms of them expanding. But that's between you and me and the the and the wall. The wall. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Nunzio, you guys are such fun people. Thank you, Nunzio. We try to be. Honestly, hello, hello, Heather. We try to be. Oh, my gosh. No, I won't tell. I won't. Let's just say today did not start out as a fun day. It was one of those days where everything, everything kept went going wrong. wrong. I mean, we uh. don't, we're not usually complainers. No. But... It was one thing after the next, and I started laughing. I, I started laughing about it because I was like, well, if you're not going to laugh, might as well cry. But it was, if it wasn't one thing, it was 10. Am I, am I? Oh, yeah. 
I was hopping mad the earlier. I got to tell you, hopping mad. Well, oh, yeah, and it, it's yeah. Let's just say that it started out. I mean, married couples never have arguments. <laughs> never have. It's always sunshine, lollipops, unicorn toots, and the whole nine. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how we started the day out. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I, I think we're good. Are we yeah. good? We're good. Yes. We're good. Yes, we're good. Okay. We we, we uh, healed up. <laughs> Solid. Like right right away. Mm -hmm. How long? Three and a half minutes. I thought you said it has to stay in ten. Nope. Five minutes. And then you put your toppings on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, it's nice. I don't know why I had it in my head. You said ten minutes. No, you make it ten minutes after you put the toppings okay. on. Okay. And I move this, and I need it. I need it. I still need it. Shrimp Alfredo. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. They're doing a Knowledge Powers doing shrimp Alfredo. Oh drive. yum. That sounds really good. I'm coming over to your house because she doesn't like shrimp. I don't like shrimp. I love them. Let's Can't see. do it. Just wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Not at this juncture. The Fingers crossed. Eyes crossed. Knees crossed. Cross crossed. Says Katia. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm making noise. Going making crazy. Noise. Hey, Kathea, you know what's really funny is that on our television, we don't, we don't have regular cable anymore. We got rid of it a long time ago. Uh, and we don't do the, the pay services like Netflix for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. But with the TV comes a sports channel, because I love soccer, like football. I, people over here call it soccer. It's football. <clears throat> but <clears throat> they've been showing nothing but French teams. And I'm learning all of the French cities. Funny. Because that's, they're showing nothing but French teams lately. Mm -hmm. And I've just been enjoying it. That's so, good. Viva la France. So, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you. Um, yeah. Tell them about the uh, maybe cookbook, I guess. Well, yeah, wait. the pizza sauce recipe is in the cookbook. Of course, you can see it right here on the screen. Um, but if you want more of our awesome recipes, um, we have three different cookbooks. Uh, this sauce recipe is actually in the second one, which is um, uh, New Homestead Treasures. Mm -hmm. um, and we just had a new one released just a few months ago. And it was the Homestead Essentials, right? Yes. The new Essential? Yeah. I can't remember. I, there's... The new classics. Right. That's funny. <laughs> the new classics. <laughs> funny. Um, this keto crust is not in the recipe book right now. Um, we may next year, we may make, make a new one. I don't know. Well, we'll see in about one, one minute. One minute. But it's not going to be ready just yet. We can't, re we can't eat it yet. We have to pre-cook the crust just a little bit before we put the toppings on. It'll be blobby. It'll be gloopy and gross. So you got to kind of make the top uh, seal it a little bit by cooking it, by baking it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, your sauce will get make it just kind of mushy, and I think that would be really gross. I think the technical term is nasty. Nasty. Yes. Makes it nasty. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Kathy loves soccer. Oh, oh do she, no, she, oh, she I know knows you I love soccer, yes. Oh, well, that's very kind. Yeah. Never misses any of our videos. That's really kind. Oh, thank you. That's really kind. 16 seconds. 16 14, seconds later. 15. It smells really good. It actually smells and, good. And Laura said, imagine a cheese crust. That's pretty much that's what this pretty is. pretty much what it is. It's cheese and, I mean, there's very little almond flour. I was surprised at how little almond flour there was. It's probably just to keep it together. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just to help bind it together. That and the egg. Whoa. Oh. Holy mackerel. Look at that. Holy mackerel, people. Not that too shabby. Looks yummy. You could just have that. No kidding. It's cheese and bread. I mean no it's pretty much and I okay. love I love almonds to start with. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and not burn myself. Move that over a little bit. I mean you can see how thin it is. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna dress it here, guys. Knowledge power. So, do you rehydrate any of the toppings or just throw them on? Throw them you right can on. Just throw them right on. Yep. Because there's enough moisture mm -hmm. in the actual sauce yep. that you don't have to 
rehydrate. And this is going to be one of Mama's favorites. It's right here. I'll only put right half of it, honey. Here, boom. Right there. Because they're nice big pieces. Mm -hmm. And whoa, I almost threw them on the floor. Don't dump the Don't mushrooms. Don't dump the shrooms. Yeah, if you can see like this, folks. That's to give you an idea, that's a little bigger than a a quarter, maybe? Yep. It's about the size of a quarter. So we're just gonna put some you can of those put right them on there. However you want, Mom. Put them all on there. I will I will muscle through. And and what's crazy about the mushrooms, guys, is when we're done with them, you put them back on the shelf. I don't have to chop it. I don't slice it. I don't have to clean them off. No Nothing. refrigeration. Nope. None whatsoever. And we'll do the same thing with the onions. This is even, this is the best way ever to cut onions. Watch this. Done. Yep. Done, done, and done. Done. All right. Pepperoni on top oh. of the cheese, right, hon? Oh, yeah, because then that the grease coming off the pepperoni helps Ooh, the shrooms, yeah. the shroomage. No, you don't need to rehydrate them at all. You can put them straight on. But, now, but make it touch the, touch the actual... Um, sauce right make it touch the sauce now if you're using the peppers i would recommend hydrate rehydrating those um but for you know mushrooms and onions they don't require a lot of moisture no am i putting too much cheese no i think you're gold right there the reason and okay this I is like a roll reversal too yeah he decorates the, the pizzas usually yeah Usually what happens is she's rolling out dough because when we do pizza night, we got to make five, six, seven pizzas or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whoever's here. Right. And so we got a system down. Oops, sorry. No, it's fine. We got a system down. She rolls out the dough and gets it all ready to go. I'm on the put it together. Decorating. And I flip it back to her into the oven. Yep. Now this will go in for another 10 minutes, maybe, because this is a pretty hot oven. Um, when we bake... Um, pizzas at 550 degrees, it takes what, six, seven minutes? Yeah, maybe 10. But this is, this is a, a keto crust. Is that enough? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, I would say that we were not going to, oh, thank you. We're not going to need that going very long at all because you might burn the edges. Yeah. All right. So here's our decorated pizza. Yummy. Going back in the oven. Yummy, yummy. Maybe check it at five. I will put it in for five and check it. Yep. All right. So, for those of you who do keto, what's your favorite recipe? Oh. Send it to me. Good call. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? While we're waiting, um, what about ideas for next week? Oh, wait. You want to get the other thing going? What other thing? Pizza. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't because it's... It's, I won't be able to roll it out very easily. Put it in here. No, it's been it's cold. It has to come to room temperature ah. for it to roll out. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, I we were planning on making beef stew, but I ran out of time. So I'm not making beef stew. Um, but you know the artisan bread, the mm -hmm. recipe that mom makes? This was in the fridge earlier. Yep. And that's what it looks like after a couple days. Yep. And you just take a chunk out, throw it on there. Well, kind of be a little more gentle than that. No. You roll it into a ball and, you know, then you put it on some parchment paper. Let it rise for a little <coughs> while. And so, yeah, we're going to make that into our pizza crust for tonight because, you know, when we make our normal New York style pizza, it's kind of it's better if it's in the refrigerator for a couple of days. True, 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 true. So other things, let's see. Um... Oh, for those of you guys who are Patreon uh, help for us, mm -hmm. I put up a new scripture song. So if you're um, interested, you can go over the, to our Patreon page and check that out. There's a link down below. And if you don't know what it is, it's music. I write music and record music. And I just took direct words right from the Bible and put them to music. Yeah, they're, and they're so good. He's been writing music for 25 plus years, 30 plus yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. And they're just, they get, get, keep getting better, keep getting better. So. And if you want to help keep me going on that, mm -hmm. any kind of help is very, very helpful. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
So let's see. Uh, Michigan Daffodil. Oh, they're sure so they're talking together. Yeah. See. Knowledge, Knowledge Powers Power. making bagel pizzas. Oh, they're those so are good. so good. Uh huh. There. Okay. There's a, a bagel. A bagel that um, our local grocery store makes, and they are a cheese bagel. Oh man, those are my favorite. I make an egg sandwich with those mm -hmm. with cheese and a slice of turkey or ham, whatever we've got, or pepperoni, whatever. Oh, it's so good. So good. And I don't add any butter. I don't add any mayonnaise or anything like that. Just the egg, the cheese, the turkey, and the bagel. It's so good. See, Midwest Mama's Adventures. That's an interesting name there. Uh, I am planning on fixing, fixing keto Texas chili. Nisha Berries? Nisha Berries? I've never heard of Nisha Berries. Nope. Have you? Nope. Huh. It's another YouTube channel, I'm guessing. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not heard of that one. Yeah. There's you know, so many YouTube channels that... You they're always track. popping up, yeah. you know, and yeah. shoot, we've been doing this, what, six years? Almost seven. Holy mackerel. This, this December will be seven. God has blessed us. Mm -hmm. That's honestly, we've mm -hmm. met a lot of cool people from yeah. doing this. Let's see. Oh, I can smell the mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells really, really good. I actually, Michigan Daffodils talking about Culver's. I drove by Culver's today. I had to run some errands in town. And they have a curd burger. Today only. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, why? Are, it was advertised. I didn't stop at, at Culver's. But uh, a curd burger, which is a cheese curd. And they put them on the burger. and Deep fried I, cheese. Cheese, yeah. Cheese curds are delicious. Uh-huh. Deep fried or not. and uh, But having it on a burger just sounds delightful. Yeah. They have one of those at the place in Wausau. The, Ma the, the Milwaukee, Milwaukee burger. burger. Yeah. Yeah. We don't go there very often. No. It's super expensive and it's a long way away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And it's okay. It's, you know, I can make better hamburgers here. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Oh, Nisha is Ken Berry, Dr. Ken Berry's wife. Okay. Oh. That makes you. sense. Am I I, nope. Well, yeah, your leg is in I will get out front of, the of way. it. I don't want to burn you. I will get out of the way. Okay, seconds. well, here's the question. Where are you guys all from? At least give me a state or a yeah. country or something. City. Where are you? Where Maybe from your art, physical though? address. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> don't Says, do that. Do not put your social security number no, up there. No, no, no. Don't Bad do that. Bad idea. But where yeah. are you from? Because we know where Michigan Daffodil is from, I think. I think she's I in think Michigan. she might be. Maybe. Oh, snap. Is that good? That's done. That looks great. Look at that, guys. That might even be a little too done, but it looks good. That was 10 minutes total in the in a 55, 55, 50, 55 degree oven. I'm thinking it's not going to work. 550 degree oven. So no. it is a little done on the edges. So maybe three, four minutes. Maybe four. Scotland, cool. Karen's from Scotland. Yum. Northwest Oregon, Wisconsin, South Georgia. Every, we're Who's all over Wisconsin? the map. Oh, Nunzio's in Nunzio. Wisconsin. Cool. Yeah. Shervin, all right, cool. Middleton, Illinois. Kentucky. Middle, Middle Tucky. Middle Tucky. <laughs> is that, that's that Middletown in Ohio. I think it actually is. I don't know. <laughs> Red Cloud, Nebraska. We that's used to an live nearby one. Middletown. Yeah. When we were in Ohio. Let me. Uh, you cut I the pizza. This? Yep, Dad cuts the pizza. Let me make sure I'm I don't turn burn that off. Myself. All right. Oop, this is a lot different than a um, bread crust. Yes, it's not as crunchy. You got to let it cool, though. It's supposed to cool for 10 minutes before you eat it. Okay, we well, never then we will. Long. We will. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm not going to break it. Yeah. Because it kind of feels like it's... It seems like it's a delicate crust. It is. Um, Because, I mean, with, a, with flour, right. it holds... Oh, sure. No, I it's about smaller. the right size. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Let me see. That's toasty. Well, yeah. That's a little hot. A little hot. It is <laughs> holding together okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I can smell those mushrooms, Mom. They're delightful. We're going to have to wait. Yeah. Going to have to wait. Yeah. Going to have to so wait. So what do you guys think? Well. La La Farm says that looks amazing. Yeah, it does look really, really good. I think I might want to eat that with a fork. Yeah, probably. Let me get a cup. Let me get a plate.
Thrifty VGs from Rhode Island at this particular moment. Delaware, huh? I didn't know she was in Delaware. I am in Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> That's from a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Too funny. Or we're in Delaware. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, that I don't know, Mom. I don't think we should wait. I think it's nope, against the law. No, I think we're law. done. We're done waiting. I'm going to use the pancake flipper. I think so, yeah. Um, this is a, an actual pancake flipper. Um, <laughs> I got it at Walmart, and uh, which is good because Caleb likes to make pancakes a lot. Now, I'm curious. I want to see the bottom of it. Perfect. That looks great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to see if I can do this. See that, guys? Without dropping all the ingredients off. Yeah, don't you? do that. Is that you? Okay. No, I no, I was gonna share. Oh, go ahead. Share. Go ahead. Ladies first. Let's see. Smells good. Yeah, it smells ridiculously good. A little warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Oh. No, no, that's here, really good. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm I, the crust is completely cooked through, um, and it's very rich because I mean it's mostly cheese, but it's so good. Let's see. I got to get a piece of this mm. pepperoni in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'll do. That'll do. Especially if you're wanting to make make something quick. This was. I mean, when do we start? We talked a lot. We though. talked a lot, but honestly, you could probably have this done in less than 20 minutes. Mm. You know? Not bad. No, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Let me taste the edge with that your fork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's most certainly not like a regular pizza. No. But what I would say is that if you're trying to, to do that lifestyle, mm -hmm. this will scratch the itch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Meaning, mm -hmm. it's not like regular pizza, but okay, fine. Mm -mm. Mm. It's still tasty. Uh, you it's just really good. Yeah. I think that's. Did you? The, the, is the edge okay? The edge is great. Make this with garlic and parmesan. Just like m spread melted like butter on top. No, just spread melted butter on there. Mm. And then sprinkle some garlic and put some parmesan cheese and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. That would make it. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, cheese fries. We call them cheese fries up here. I don't know why. They're not fries. No, they're not fries. It's a pizza crust with a garlicky butter sauce hmm. on it with some mozzarella cheese on it, and they call them pizza fries. I don't get it, but they're really good. But this would make an awesome cheese fries. I think because they cut them like, yeah. um, but then you would they think they would like be sticks. a breadstick. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, mm -hmm. okay. Now, yeah. what's... The one thing that is super cool about the Thrive stuff is you could put any doggone thing on here. Whatever that you, you want. want. You just scoop it out, throw it on. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, Thicker things, I would rehydrate before. Uh -huh. But the onions and mushrooms, just lay them right on top of the sauce. Actually, do you want to tell them about the $25 yes. off thing? Right now, during the month of October, um, Thrive I can, Life. I can eat. Well, you can eat, yeah. Thrive Life um, is having a, a deal where if you become a consultant in the month of October, you get a $25 uh, Thrive Life credit. Yep. So it, the $25 credits your account, and then you can use that to purchase food. I mean, it's so you're really spending $75 to become a consultant instead of $100 mm -hmm. for the social seller kit. Actually, it's not called social seller kit anymore. can't remember what it's called. The kit. The kit. And there's three kits. Um, there's the, the $100 one, then there's a $220 one, um, and then there's a $499 one, but you get, you get, um, Zoom calls with that one, and it's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. Well, sure, Vin, you just call them breadsticks. That, yeah. That's what we've always called them until we moved up here, and everybody around here calls them cheese fries. Yeah. So. So, folks, yeah. we have ketoed. We, have, we are ketoed out. No, no. So right. now, what are, what are, uh, my, my motor's <laughs> running funny today. What would you like to see next? Yeah. I think we should make some uh, ice cream. We can't do it fast. 
Can't do that. Because we actually have our milk cow. Mm -hmm. I can see her right now. She's right over there. Mm -hmm. um, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, so our friend in, in, in France, French gelato. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea how to make that. It's so good. But um, we can't do that quickly. Mm -hmm. Ideas. What do you guys think? What do you think? Let's see. Do you want to read some things, Mom? Would you be able to roll? Yes, you could roll mozzarella into the crust like a stuffed crust. Uh -huh. You could do that. I don't. You would have to do it when the dough is still raw before you cook it the first time. Um, that so you you smash it out, put your cheese around the edge, and then fold it over and press it down. That's the way you could do that. Yogurt. That would be a good one. It's lengthy. Lengthy. You have ma we've made videos I've on made, yogurt. We've made videos on yogurt. It takes a long. It does. It takes a long time. Standing time. Lasagna. Um. And but it's really good. Um, I'm trying to think. Bread. Prep time is pretty easy. Something fallish. Oh, our. Bread in the Instant Pot. I've never heard of that. Um, I know you can proof bread in the Instant Pot, but I've never baked bread in the Instant Pot. I don't know if, I don't, I, I would imagine it's possible, but. Maybe it's time to do. I don't know do, if you can. Maybe it's time to do cinnamon rolls again. Okay. Let me tell you what, people. There are a few things in life as good as her cinnamon rolls. <laughs> if you've ever been to the chain Cinnabon, this is I, cinnamon okay. rolls. Let me tell you a funny story about my our cinnamon rolls. I put the recipe out several years ago. Did a video several years ago. And a gal emailed me stating that she made that those cinnamon rolls. Oh, this is funny. And yeah. she took it to the fair and submitted it as a fair ex exhibit. Yeah, exhibit, mm -hmm. whatever. And she won Blue Ribbon. With her recipe. <laughs> With my recipe. And I was so tickled that, you know, that it's their blue rest, you know, their blue ribbon cinnamon rolls. The so. cinnamon rolls are ridiculous, guys. Mm -hmm. And you know what? There's nothing really crazy ingredient wise in there either. No, it's all stuff. Sorry, I got cheese stuck. It's all stuff you have in your, in your, um, uh, what in your much? pantry. In your pantry, yeah. Yeah. And it's just mm -hmm. the right amount. The only thing that would be weird at all is uh, the the essential oil. Essential oil, mm -hmm. and you could substitute, mm -hmm. but the orange essential oil is mm -hmm. really part of the key. Mm -hmm. It is. I mean, you could use extract or not at all. Yeah. Um, but anyhow. Anyway, um, well, I think we're <laughs> we're gonna have lunch slash dinner. Yeah, this is dinner for me. So, yeah, I'll have one more piece and I'm done for the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. I'll have to make pizza the other oh, for the Oh, fruit kids. crisp. That might be good. Ooh. Shepherd's pie. Okay. Oh. Here's what we do for our uh, fruit crisp. We don't use oatmeal. We use granola. Yes. We use the prefab granola that uh -huh. we, we get at Aldi, and that's what we use. It's so much better, people. Mm -hmm. I know it's weird, but it's, it's weird, so much better. It's weird, but it's so good. Crunchy. So it's not soggy. You know what? The the, the apple crisp, the apple cobbler, all those things. Mm -hmm. When you use the oats, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But when you get those edges with the oats, that's the part everybody wants, the crispy parts. Mm -hmm. The whole thing with granola mm -hmm. is the crispy part. Yep. So. Yep. That said, I think we're going to call it, guys. Yep. That's it. That's It's so easy. You can have keto, gluten-free crust. Pizza crust in minutes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is really, really easy. So. All righty, folks. Yep. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.